Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So finally nothing have updated their nothing gallery and now it's nothing gallery 2.2. Since nothing gallery was released, we had some basic features, but now you also get the option to edit videos, photos and many more new features have been added. In this video, let's cover everything what nothing brings with the latest update of nothing gallery application. But before moving ahead, if you guys find a content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. So here you can see I have nothing phone 3a pro. First of all, let me show you the app version because I haven't updated this application yet going to app info the previous version was nothing gallery 1.0.29.0507 so this was the older version and if you want to update the nothing gallery application to the latest build just go to the play store and search for nothing gallery once you search you'll see an option to update tapping on it if you go to the about info you'll see the new version which is 2.0.9 and if you see what's new they say they have integrated editing tool which lets you crop rotate flip stretch and also 12 color adjustment parameters like exposure contrast saturation here i also have nothing phone 2 so on this device will not update the gallery application will only update on nothing phone 3a pro so that i can show you guys what's exactly changed so here you can see we are running the previous build of nothing gallery application which is version 1.1 and let's update the gallery here on nothing phone 3a pro so once the gallery application is updated now let's open the gallery application first let's see any ui changes or layout changes have been done or not so let me flip the devices so that the older version is towards the left hand side and the newer version is towards the right hand side first change soon you open the gallery application you'll see and that's with the text on the previous build the text was in capital letters and now they are properly written tapping on these three dots towards the right hand side we have a setting option and previously it used to show app setting and also if you see the date font here on the latest gallery application that's bolder compared to the previous one going to the album section you can see a change over here previously the camera preview was quite bigger but now everything is side by side all the previews of album are similar now if you see here on the preview towards the bottom side we do get the text and the number of photos or videos present in that particular album which we used to see previously but that was written towards the top side of preview here they have made a different section and on this latest build if i swipe towards the bottom side the album text doesn't appear towards the top side but here on the previous build if you scroll towards the bottom side the album text doesn't disappear it still remains on the screen and before we also used to see the preview of these smaller tiles or you can say smaller shapes of album that's not the case on this latest build in the explore section everything remains same so these were some of the ui changes now let's talk about the features what they have added so we all know that the editor option was not there whenever we used to tap on editor it used to say no editor found on your phone if you have disabled the google photos application if google photos application was enabled it would have redirected to the google photos app for more edits but now in this latest gallery application if you tap on edit you can see we do have the edit options first one is layer to rotate and here we have the slider using which you can rotate the image and make it centered if it is not centered so this is one add-on after that they have also added the option to flip the image this can be useful if the photos are clicked from the selfie shooter and if the photos are taken if the mirror effect is turned on after that you have option to rotate the picture which lets you rotate 90 degree and 180 degree after that we also have an option of ratio you can also manually adjust it or else we have options like 3 is to 4 2 is to 3 9 is to 1 4 is to 3 3 is to Two. and you can also make changes vertically in any of the photo present on your device so these are some of the options which nothing have added now let's tap on other icon from here you can make changes in the contrast vibrance saturation and i do like this slider option depending on the option you have selected it will also show you the color palette then we have options like warmth tint sharpen white point black point and grains and after that they have also added some new filters including negative noise black and white film texture cold warm and you can also make changes in the intensity just by tapping on that particular filter by default they are set to 100 if you want to make changes that can also be done from here and whenever you're sliding on these filters you have that nice haptic feedback being added on nothing phones with nothing gallery 2.2 the haptic feedback is not added here in these two options only if you tap on this main page or these icons towards the bottom side here you get to feel that haptic feedback and it's not only that you can edit the photos only you can also edit the videos also so here i have a video tapping on edit you can see we have got the options to you know crop the video towards the bottom side we have an option to adjust the volume of that particular audio so these are some of the changes what nothing brings with the latest nothing gallery application let me know in the comment section below did you guys like these changes on the new nothing gallery application and if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video